now the latest on June 15th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Day 166 of the year brings a weakening value to the table in the Arabian Sea. It's the only system that's active around the world right now, number 27 in terms of named storms. In the Atlantic, it's day 15 of hurricane season. No systems are active at this time. It's all quiet. In the Eastern Pacific, it's day 32, and we're still waiting for that first cyclone. Models are all quiet on that. And in the North Indian Ocean, Vayu is the only feature in town. In the Arabian Sea, just off the coast of Gujarat, still moving westward slowly. In the Southern Hemisphere, no systems are active at this time although models are indicating possible development near the Solomon Islands this week. Cyclone value has winds of 85 miles per hour and a pressure of 972 millibars according to our latest estimates, 156 miles from Porbandar in India. Tropical storm force winds are just about exiting the western coast of Gujarat now um, and the system is likely to continue weakening as it enters, moves over the Arabian Sea and then hooking back towards the northeast. That's becoming more and more certain as time goes on, although it will be very weak if it does do that and returns midweek next week. So that means it could become more of a rain event than anything and indeed rainfall amounts could be uh, you know, increasing quite a lot along that westward coast there uh, due to the storm already having visited once, returning again later next week. Here's some imagery. Um, you can see the wind shear graphic here. Uh, it's entering a higher amount of wind shear at the moment. It's already been impacted by dry air, so it's going to be impacted even more now and going to continue weakening. Some models think very quickly indeed. Elsewhere around the world, this is what the Atlantic looks like right now. Not too much to report, really. Uh, the very deep tropics have a few little disturbances, but really very little going on. An extratropical cyclone looks to be headed for the Azores or just past there towards the north. In the Gulf of Mexico, there's some thunderstorms brewing in the southern part of the Gulf, but nothing likely to develop into a tropical cyclone. The Eastern Pacific is very quiet. It's uh, quieter than a library at this time, um, when usually we're quite often seeing storms forming around about now. Uh, we are possibly on for the latest start to a year to a storm season since 1964 if we get to June 20th without a depression. In the Western Pacific it is very quiet here as well uh, but models still indicating the possibility of cyclone activity here next week uh, which will be developing in the southern Philippine Sea maybe. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this at the minute extremely high amounts of dry air over the southern Solomon Islands but the GFS model thinks that a storm may develop on the northernmost islands. In the Indian Ocean, you can clearly see Vayu, and on the right-hand side in the Bay of Bengal, uh, another little feature there, uh, which one or two models, I think, are eyeing up for possible development. Sea surface temperatures look like this, around 30 degrees Celsius in that hot spot in the East Pacific off the coast of Mexico. The Western Gulf of Mexico also very warm, as is the area around Cuba and the Bahamas. The open Atlantic is still warming up slowly, 26 degrees as you get to around 50 degrees west, I think that is. Um, maybe a little bit further on and in the Indian Ocean you can still see a little bit of a cold trail there but not a massive one from Vayu just yet still 28 degrees plus in that whole basin there and in the Western Pacific very warm in the South China Sea 30 degrees plus Philippine Sea 29 or 30 26 is the general threshold for tropical cyclone development some imagery of cyclone value, not our usual one at this part of the video, but you can still see how it's been progressing. Uh, it's got sort of like a, a fake eye, you could say, or half an eye at this point, certainly very ill-defined uh, around it uh, and really on a weakening trend. Gradual westward movement you saw there as well, a 12-hour loop. So Barry is the next name in the Atlantic Ocean. Alvin will be the first name for the Eastern Pacific if it ever happens this year. Akoni is next up in the Central Pacific. We're still waiting for Sipat in the Western Pacific and Hika is next up in the North Indian Ocean. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page Force 13 if you're not there already, please subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can also find our Facebook and Twitter pages, search Force 13 all in text. 
If we do get a name in the Fiji region, this week it will be called Rita. That's all for now. We'll be back again with another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.